And there's another good book that has some major issues. We're going to talk about this, but Martin Ling's book. Martin Ling's book, uh, which is basically called The, uh, the Life of the Prophet, right? The Life of Muhammad. Uh, Martin Ling's book is the most eloquent book of Sirah in English. And that's not surprising because Martin Ling's was a professor at Oxford on Shakespeare. And he's a convert to Islam. He converted to Islam. So he was a Shakespearean alim at Oxford. It's an alim. What's so funny? He's an alim. An alim means he's a scholar, right? He's an alim of Shakespeare. Yes. So he's a Shakespearean alim and he converted to Islam back in the 60s. Uh, and he lived a very quiet life. He, didn't, he wasn't a very public person. He was a very intellectual, just kept to himself. Uh, and he wrote a book of Sirah, the English of which cannot be compared to any other book because this is he is a master of English. There's only one problem with the book and that is there's two or three stories in there that really should not be in there. It's not his fault. He didn't invent those stories, but he's not a researcher. He's not a scholar. And so he just took some stories that he didn't really think about are they critical or not and he put them in there. And so this is the problem of that book that there's just really two, three stories that are just out downright wrong and, and they can use some fuel and fodder for non-Muslims to, to say things about our religion. He wrote at a time and place where Islam was not under attack. He didn't really think through. He just is an innocent man and he wasn't a scholar in that sense. He was a Shakespeare alim, not a hadith alim. So this is the problem. But I do encourage you to own the book and to read it. Uh, and if you do, then you can download as well. Just uh, do a Google of you know the problems of uh, Martin Ling's and you'll find a PDF or a, a file which mentions a number of stories that are dangerous, let's say, or incorrect. So the love story, let's say, the process I fell into love with Zainab. We're going to get to that someday, inshallah. This is just not true. It's a complete fabrication. And I gave a talk at Yale about this issue. It's a complete fabrication. There there was no love story. There was no romance going on. Unfortunately, he put it in there. And he thought it was because he's a Western audience. So for him, romance is a good thing, isn't it? You know, for him, love stories are good stories. So he, he, he thought this is a good story. Let me put it in. But that's not our prophet system, is it? You know, and so and so there are other issues like this that academically they're not good to have. Otherwise, the book is superb. So these two books, I think, are books that you should own and, and, uh, and purchase and, and read.